Deep beneath, rock is so hot and pressurized that it bursts violently out as lava. But not all volcanoes work this way. There are volcanoes on other worlds that don't use molten rock at all. Right at the frontiers of the sun's planetary system, Triton orbits the ice giant Neptune, two and a half billion miles from the sun. The temperature is a frigid 390 degrees below zero. When NASA's Voyager probe flew past, it revealed a world covered mostly with frozen nitrogen ice. But the probe found something else. When Voyager flew by, it saw these black smudges. And all of the smudges were going in one direction, almost as if there was a wind blowing dark material, dust, in one direction. Signs of activity on a world so cold it freezes nitrogen. Volcanoes at almost 400 degrees below zero. Forget molten rock. Triton spews out a mixture of nitrogen and moon dust. And the geyser not only has liquid nitrogen, which is in a fluid form, but also sort of dusty stuff that's lighter, that can even go farther in the weak winds. So you have this wonderful sort of double plume of an icy area and then a darker smudgy area, basically made of dust, like moon dust. Triton's surface is nitrogen ice. Underneath, there are lakes of liquid nitrogen. How? Scientists believe it's because nitrogen ice lets light in, but doesn't let heat out. <laughs> 